All right, what's up everybody? Another day, another property home tour. It's your first time tuning in. My name's Chuck. It's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas. Licensed real estate agent out here in Las Vegas, Nevada. So first thing, um, you're probably looking at the screen and you're wondering what does this thing look like? I know from the screen it's hard to tell, but believe it or not, I'm in one of the most expensive homes here in las vegas so this is a very unique opportunity uh, for me to film this home now unfortunately i cannot film the outside because this is a very exclusive neighborhood what is that neighborhood it's called the summit now the summit is one of the most expensive neighborhoods here in las vegas now i'm talking about lots right quarter of an acre can run you up to about four million dollars right just for the lot the reason why this uh, neighborhood is so exclusive is because of the security now believe it or not here in a summit I literally had to come through the gate it took me about 20 minutes to get fully screened after getting screened and processed, I had to have the security guard fully escort me up to the property and believe it or not the security guy is still sitting at the front he will not leave until I leave that is a part of the security clearance this property right here, the architect design was actually built by uh, Blue Heron. Now, I want to give a quick shout out to my girl, Lily Shines, okay? She is the listing agent on this property. Now, this is a luxury masterpiece, modern luxury home, okay? And it sits over here in the west side of the Las Vegas Valley. Now, what's unique about this home, it's nine bedrooms nine bathrooms over 9827 square feet of living space seven car garage now believe it or not here all the way here is one house okay but this is a casita this is roughly about 20 something square feet it has a two car garage then this side of the house is the primary but I mean just take a look at the architecture of this home talking about attention to detail now the price on something like this believe it or not it's about 23 million dollars if you are interested now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a walk here you got nice vegetation okay you got some sound lighting throughout now, this home has a smart feature with Crestron, which is a system that allows you to control the house by a app, okay? So let's take a look through these pivot doors. As soon as I walk in, the first thing I see, right, is beautiful, gorgeous views. And we have views of 180 degrees from the east to the west side of the Las Vegas Valley. As you can see, we have 10-foot ceilings. The textures on the wall here are level five finishings, okay? There is so much to look at on this home, and I know a lot of you guys love these homes. Now, one thing I've noticed, there's a lot of echoing that's going on, okay? A couple things I wanna show you that you have the bedrooms down here, you have a beautiful flex space. Now, we're gonna start from the main living area. This is very unique. The outside is so gorgeous, it is unbelievable. Now, that's all you're gonna get from me is amazing unbelievable because it is what it is this is a work of art so we have a beautiful linear fireplace you're able to control and change the color now at this price point the furniture should be included that's one thing i didn't ask if the furniture is included however i'm sure at 25 million it is included now take a look at it here we have a pocket door here okay these are all done from electronic so you can close this electronically here and here Okay, you have this fireplace here. Now, if you want to close this off, this closes off here. You also have a pocket door that runs here, all the way across there, and that shuts off here, all done electronically. However, take a look how gorgeous and magnificent this infinity pool is. Okay, this is a Pebble Tech pool. Now, if you were going to build a pool today, you can only do. 600 right square feet that's the benefit of this you've got also two cabanas here you got a bunch of nice bench seats over here you got your full kitchen here but let's take a look at this okay beautiful linear fireplace i'm sorry uh linear uh ductwork for your ac everything is all streamlined minimalist right 
we have your nice wine chiller that holds roughly about 72 bottles, okay? Love the uh, rock that's all in here. But let's take a look at this island. You have a beautiful uh, four foot by 18 feet or 18 foot fireplace, okay? All cladded, nice, hard, man-made stone, okay? Zero threshold. I'm sorry, full overlay cabinets, but with the overlay cabinets, it's very seamless, as you can see. We have two dishwashers here that are hidden. These are actually Coves. Now, Cove is actually a product by uh, Wolf. Now, I like to say Wolf Pack appliances, Wolf Pack, because it just sounds pretty cool. Now, we have a full griddle, two, four, six, eight burner stove here. Believe it or not, this has never been used. But look how large this hood is. Attention to detail, all the cabinets, all streamlined, nice and flush, beautiful uh, undermounted sink. Now this home is really made to entertain your guests with a view like this. This table sits here, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve 10, 12 people, okay? This home is made to party. Now, believe it or not, there were a lot of celebrities that came here to take a look at this home. I'm not going to mention who the celebrities are. Now, there are tons of celebrities that live here. Believe it or not, when you start dealing with properties at this magnitude, guess what happens? You sign a form, okay? You can't disclose who you are working with. That's how jam-packed tight this place is, okay? You have the pantry here, and believe it or not, we have our built-in refrigerator, okay? You got your espresso coffee maker. Here we have our pantry, okay? Now I'm gonna come down this way. As you can see, York is filming here. Look, down the hallway you have nothing but windows. A lot of light is coming in. Very natural light. Here, this is what we call our flex space. This could be utilized for a couple things. You got your game room. Look, you got your sink. You got your refrigerator. And look at all your built-ins. Now we have a beautiful slide here. This is a 18 foot slide. This just opens electronically, and we also have electronic shades, and then we have our uh, distribute sounds. That is all controlled by the Crestron system. Now, this is on the west side of the house. As you can see, the eaves, the overhang here is about 10 feet, which gives you a lot of shade. That's right. Beautiful cladding. Now, these are not pocket doors. However, these doors will actually cl close off, and then you would have your own privacy. Coming down this way, we have our guest bathroom. Love the stonework here underneath. Really nice. Believe it or not, what you have to do is cut that concrete. See, these are a little attention to details here. Now, for me, what this really feels like, I feel like I am in a oasis, okay? We have our floating toilet. Coming down this hall here. What do we have here? The elevator, the elevator actually takes us to the observation deck. This takes us out to the side of the house here. The good news is that there's no homes on that side. We've got thermostats here. Now, I'm gonna come down this way here, see what we have. I mean, just attention to details. Look how they carved this in right here. It's just not one flat wall. Great idea for that. Now that was something structure they had to do, but they implemented it as a design. Off to the left, we have two bedrooms here. Now all the bedrooms will feature their own bathrooms. As you can see, we have another 12 foot slide here. These are not pocket doors, but controlled electronically and with electronic shades. We have six inches on the straight edge on the baseboards. Again, straight edge on the cornering, right? Level five finishings. And then let's go take a look at the bathroom. As you can see with the bathroom, we have the floating vanity, nice rounded frame mirror, and take a look at this design. It's just not a flat ceiling, okay? You have the nice schluters, nice tile work, and nice drain line. Then we come into the closet. Let me check my minutes here. It's still working, good. 
Now we're coming into what bedroom number two. Now with bedroom number two, this is a little bit fascinating. We have a nice slide. This is an 18 foot slide again. Now this is done electronically, but then right behind it, we actually have some electronic shades. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me see if I can open this up so I can show you what I'm talking about. And I thought this was very cool. Give me a second here. So as this thing slides open, okay, you have this thing, it's called a blackout shade. This is actually connected to the frame. So when you have guests that fly in on a red eye and they're just like tired, right? And they just wanna sleep, this whole shade comes down, it blacks out the whole room and this is their own privacy, right? Again, we have a nice shower walk-in and very creative with the shower. I feel like I'm at a coastal area. Great vibes. And what I like about this home, um, it's very manly, modern, but it has a female touch to it. So I feel like it really collides very well, especially if you have a family. Here we have our laundry room. So as you can see down the laundry room here, washer and dryer, and then this is gonna take us out to our garage. So as you can see, this is a five car garage right here, but a tandem five, six, you could put total six if you wanted to. Now, as you can see, I'm kind of moving a little bit fast on this video, and the reason why is because we have just way too much to look at, and I wanna make sure we get everything all in this video, okay? Now, off to the left-hand side, we have the east wing of the house. So a couple things that I like about this is, if we take a look at the pool, it's very linear here, okay? You got some beautiful water features, just kind of nice to hang out right here. Coming in here, we have our additional office flex space. You could turn this into a room. There's so many things that you can integrate with this room, but I do love how this room sits now. We got the refrigerator, we got the bunch of mirrors, beautiful built-ins here. This takes us up back out to the front of the house. Then we have our own bathroom. So as we come into the bathroom, same theme, but we got different colors. Perfect. Here we have a closet, which that's more like a valet than anything. But let me know in the comments below, what would you do to this room, okay? One thing that I've also noticed is that if you take a look at the stonework along this wall, okay, it continues from outside, transitions all the way into the inside. Now you have this large pocket door. The reason why you have this pocket door, this separates you from the main house. Now, if we take a look at this, on this side, is the primary living, okay? This is where the head of the household lives. Then we have this window. Then we have this beautiful skylight that's coming in. This is where you can actually take a shower outside. But the way that they incorporated this is so amazing. I'm gonna show you guys here in just a second. I love the river rock here. Off to the left, we have our large walk-in closet. This is a closet for a designer. Okay, if you are a designer, this is the type of closet that you need. Here, we do have our wellness room, okay? When I say wellness room, this could be massage room, gym, whatever you want. Additional closet space right there. We have our 12 foot center slide here. These are all aluminum slides. These are 10 foot uh, slides as well. This takes you on the east side of the house. Coming down this hallway, again, we have nice stone cladding all the way through. I believe this is a, a porcelain type of tile, but take a look at these lights on the floor here. This is something that has to be pre-wired into the concrete, well thought out. Now, coming in, to the bathroom. Now the bathroom literally starts from here, okay? Which is the middle of the main living for the primary. Now as you can see, as I pan from right to left, 
it really feels like you're outside. Now, there's so much to look at, so I'll try to break down as much as things that I can see and point out in this video. First thing I notice is the floor. We have separation on the concrete, about six inches, right? You would have to lay this separate, then you would have to add the stonework, but also run the plumbing as well. So as you can see, we have the floating vanity with the nice hard surface countertops. And if we take a look, we have the natural colors to really bring nature out. Believe it or not, the weather out here in Las Vegas is great today. This is a great time to film. We have a self-standing tub. This is a fiberglass uh, tub. Now, these are pocket doors that will go ahead and close. However, uh, you do have electronic shades as well. And these are electronic doors. But you would open this up to bring the outside in. Now, I literally feel like I'm taking a shower from the outside. Now, here we have our main retaining wall that separates from the neighbors. But then we have these... Uh, metal fins that flare down and what that does is really block out the sun and gives us more privacy but still brings us in a lot of light here we have our zero threshold that we walk right into the shower half inch on the glass here as you can see then we have some nice subway pink glass tile now right above us what that is is a rainfall shower and that also lights up too as well, which is kind of cool feature just to have. But I mean, take a look at this. But if you want to be more on the outside, if you want to be more with nature, this is it right here. This is where you're going to come. You're going to take a shower. You have his and hers, but make sure to close that door and lock that door. Because the last thing you need is the kids opening the door. However, again, this is where they car carved all this out. You have the beautiful skylight that's coming in. I mean, this thing is, I really feel like I am one with nature, okay? Now, let's take a walk this way. Now, with the missus, okay, she wants to do her makeup. Look at the finishings on here. We got the mirror, the LED lights. We got the rock, nice stonework, okay? Additional uh, covers. Then we have a nice little seating area here. Takes us all the way back. Then off to the left, we have our toilet here okay one thing i've noticed here is that a fascinating design of what they did they could have just drywalled this up however to keep this more open if you take a look they added one by six these are a little bit flimsy they're not that you know strong so it looks like you got to be a little bit careful with that but i love how they use this to separate the room but integrate that wall as a piece of artwork now, coming along here, what do we have? So, here's our main primary. Now, what's great about this primary is this. You're hanging out here. You can see the whole valley, okay? I mean, just, I mean, this is the life, guys. Th this is the kind of life, believe it or not, that we all should be living. There, there's no reason why we shouldn't have a life like this, okay? This is, unfortunately, you know, people work their ass off and they can never get to this and it's just unfortunate. But I just feel like life is, you know, it's just life, right? I feel like that we all should have a quality life and experience life just like this. And it's just unfortunate, not a lot of us can. So I guess what I'm saying is I really wish you guys nothing but the best. And you know what? I want you guys to win because if you guys win, I win. Because what that means is if you guys are ever interested in buying a home like this because you guys win, you guys will probably end up calling me. Anyway, enough with the preaching because it's not about me. Okay. Now you're probably wondering, look, if I have this bedroom, my bedroom is facing this way. Where's the TV? Take a look at here. This right here where it's carved out, the TV actually comes all the way up through the floor. Now I did turn it on um, and I can show you that example. So check out our second channel, right? And you'll be able to see that and how that actually works, okay? Here we have a coffee maker, okay? Uh, refrigerator too as well. Closet all the way down on the other side. We have a nice uh, electronic slide, electronic shades as well. Here, as you can see, we are coming straight to the back we have our own jacuzzi 
as you can see, it kind of like really tilts and kind of comes this way, okay? But take a look at this golf course here. We sit on the 10th hole, okay? Now, believe it or not, the celebrities that live here, you wouldn't believe the people that live here. And it's just unfortunately, I can't tell you who lives here because it would be jaw dropping to you guys. Look at that. Seven million, seven million, seven million dollar lots. I mean, look how gorgeous that home is right there. But take a look at this, folks. If, if you can't have this home, nobody can't have this home. That's all I'm saying. This is some next level architectural stuff. I mean, I look at this and this is the quality of life that we need to live, guys. Maybe one day, who knows? But at the end of the day, it's God's will. But I tell you what, the day that I get a home like this, for all you guys that has been following me from the beginning, you guys are all invited to a party, like for real. Okay? No joke. Because we earned it together. And you got to give credit where credit is due. All right, so let's walk back down this way. Now, what I'm going to do is probably, you know what, we'll, we'll go take a look at here, the back already. So this is about a good 12 feet wide, and this is pretty long. It's not that deep, it's probably about a foot deep. Then you got to hop over this right here, it's a little bit unique. I mean, at night, the views on this is unbelievable. Talking about partying, huh? Let me show you this, guys. Kids playing, running around, just playing some soccer. You got some moms here hanging out, the dads over here cooking, grilling. You got the cabana. I mean, now this is the life. That's what I'm saying, right? The sky deck is unbelievable. Let's take a look at the uh, cabana. Got one, but two. I mean, just the concrete flooring alone. I mean, just the way that they designed this, they did such a great job, the material that they've used. I mean, if you even just take a look at the, the pot plant here with the lights and all that stuff and the texture of the stone. This reaches down by one, two, three, four, five, six steps. And we have our own private little fire pit here. Now, if you guys want more information about this property, go ahead and click on the link in the description below. And also, if you guys want to set up a uh, private showing, let me know because believe it or not, I would love to sell one of these homes. That would literally like change my life. Now, I'm not balling like how a lot of you people think I'm balling, right? I mean, I'm definitely blessed, but I would definitely would like to take it to the uh, the next level and really need your guys' help. Now, we can go up the elevator, but I'm just going to take this spiral staircase because I just don't want to get stuck in the elevator, okay? And I just feel like it's faster just to come up this way here. And... Wait till I show you the sky deck here. As you can see, look, security's still right there waiting. So this is it. Elevators here, bathrooms here. Then we have the full bar here. I'll show you what this thing looks like. Bathroom for your guests. What do we have here? AC, storage here, here's a bar, look at all the cladding here, refrigerator, the sink, then at night we have all this cladding, then we have these linear strip fireplaces, tile all on the deck here, and I love, look at this, the pot plants that goes all the way around. 
that's incorporated all into this. But then you have your plants, the LED lights, I mean, another fire pit. Then look what they did with the ceiling here. This is, I mean, attention to detail, guys. Look what they added. So they styrofoam the whole roof, which is protection for about 60 years and it works very well. But also they have a pitch on here with a drain. But because aesthetically it just looks like crap. So what they did was take this little tiny uh, recyclable rocks here and they added these rocks to kind of give that nice, beautiful look to it. Again, attention to detail. As you can see, we have the Las Vegas Strip here, south side, all the way up to the west side here. Gorgeous, right? Now that's what I'm talking about, folks. There is no reason why you cannot have a house like this. Matter of fact, call me, guys. I definitely love the opportunity to earn your business. All right, as I make my way down this spiral staircase, we're going to head over to the second house. And the second house is roughly about 2,300 square feet, and I think it has a total of five uh, bedrooms here. Okay. Oh, at night. Oh my gosh, this thing lights up like a ping pong ball. Ooh, the valley is gorgeous. Now we're going to go through this pivot door. The only way to get to this house is to exit this way. Okay. So when you have guests that pull up, okay, the guest has to park inside your driveway. So here's the uh, two car garage, but like I said, this is the full house for it here. But take a look at the exterior texture on here, all different color blocks. This was actually to uh, that flex space. But here we have a 12 foot slide that opens down the center. So this is going to be your main living area. So this was actually designed to have a guest, like a second family here. So this is where you're gonna do all your dining right here. And the way that they utilize the space is unbelievable, okay? We have this large 23 foot linear, okay, island with the waterfall here too as well. Hard surface countertops with the one inch front face. Then we have a dual basin undermounted sink. As you can see, completely full overlay cabinets, well designed. We have the Thermador, okay, so with this one, this is instant hot on here. This is what I really do like about this one, okay? Now, typically, you're not supposed to have these. However, that's why it's not a casita. This is actually like a second house. Zero counter depth for the refrigerator. Nice and streamlined. One thing that you'll notice is that windows, good lore, brings in a lot of light. So, love that. Right down here, this hallway off to the right, this will allow us to exit on the exterior of the house. Here we have a pocket door that takes us right into another suite. These suites are very large. This one is a 15 by 15 with a king size bed, TV wall mount here. Then coming into our walk-in closet. Off to the left here we have our electronic shades that are currently down. Uh, so your sun exposure is going to be on this side. As you can see we got the thermostat. Also with the correction system, the lighting quality control in this house, the system has all these different functions and features that you can change, which means if you walk into the house with the AI technology, sound recognition, voice recognition, whatever it is, a push of a button, it would literally turn on all the lights. You can control it any way that you want. This is one of my favorite uh, bathrooms because it feels very coastal. As you can see, we have a nice bench seat. Then we have these beautiful subway turquoise tile, and I love how they created this soapbox as a architecture feature. Here we have our toilets. Then we got push number one and number two to conserve water. Floating vanities, LED lights, again, natural coloring here. And what is this right here? Let me know what this is, guys. I've never seen this before. Watch this. Oh, look at that. Cool. Solid door, pocket door here. 
Again, we got the level five finishing, washer and dryer front loaded here, extra storage here, two car garage here. Come in here, we have our half bath for our guests. Now guys, I'm gonna be finishing up this video a little bit quicker. Uh, we are into it for about 30 minutes, okay? Now we're gonna head on upstairs again. We have some natural wood. Now, one thing I do like about this upstairs is that, did you notice there's a lot of light coming in? Why? Because down this catwalk here, nothing but windows. Now, you can see from the east side, I'm sorry, the north side, all the way to the south side of Las Vegas Valley with the beautiful strip. Coming down this hallway, we got another bedroom here. We've got two bedrooms here. Let's take a look at this. Again, decent size. Sun exposure is gonna be on this side of the house here. Extra storage space here, or your closet. And then we're gonna take a look here. Bathroom, pretty much all the same. Now, this thing is running out. If it dies, I do apologize but we are pretty much already done. So again, if you guys want more information about this property, go ahead and click on the link in the description below. If you guys have not had a chance to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button, right? I really wish you guys nothing but the best. All right, so we got another bathroom here. As you see, the light's not even on, but it's bring in a lot of light. Here's another bedroom. What, how many bedrooms we got here, guys? What, five? Very large bedrooms. Here we could put our TV, which is really nice. And we have another bedroom here. Now I'm gonna try to finish out this video in the backyard because that's the way we're gonna finish this because this home is gorgeous. Like I said, if you guys wanna set up a private showing on this home, uh, I would highly recommend um, Click that link or just give me a call. We'll definitely set up a private showing on here because honestly, this home is a masterpiece. It is a work of art. There's just so much to look at. It is incredible. Like I could literally just sit down in the main living area. And even though that I pointed out a, a bunch of things, I can find more things in that they actually put into this home. Again, it is like a work of art. It's like one of those things where you watch a movie and you want to rewatch it again because there's so much attention to detail. Well, this is it right here, folks. That's right. I mean, look at this. You got York and Rudy. They're constantly filming stuff because they know that this is a nice house. I mean, look at that. Oh, look at that. A soaring hawk right there. Did you guys see that? Rudy's about to fly the drone. Let, let's get Rudy's opinion. Rudy, real quick, what's your thoughts on this home? Beautiful house. Yeah? Uh, the Falcon, I can't fly my drone. He's about to kick my stuff out of the sky. Oh, that'd be fun. Do that. Yeah. See what happens. No, it's a beautiful house, man. It is, right? I love the colors. York, let's get your feedback real quick. What's your thoughts on the home, bud? Come over here. They can't hear you. Let's get a quick feedback because they, they need to understand how beautiful this home is. All right, guys, the, uh, the battery died because I drained it after like 30-something minutes. But going back to York, York, I just want to get a quick feedback. What's going on with this property? What are you, what's your thoughts about it? I love it. Uh, I love the colors that they pick, the layout. Also, the, the primary room taking up the whole east side is phenomenal. Do you think this is worth the price? For sure. All right. All right, guys, that's about pretty much it. Like I said, I really wish you guys nothing but the best. Okay, I really do. I, I hope you guys you know, live out your dream, whatever you guys want to accomplish in life, accomplish it. And if you guys are, you know, interested in buying a home out here, if you got like friends and family that is looking to buy a home at this magnitude, believe it or not, it would actually help me and my team out. Like we've been working every day for the past like 10 years, just grinding it out. I remember the day that when I first started real estate, I was an introvert, didn't have any money, right? going door to door, doing whatever I can to stick it out. And now I'm here, okay, filming $23 million homes with luxury agents asking us to do their tours. Look, I 
want to take it to the next level and I really need your guys' help. Now also click on the link in the description below if you guys want more uh, information about this property or if you guys are just looking for a luxury home. Also one more thing I want to do mention. I literally got an email the other day, responded back within 60 minutes. Hey, we could definitely help you out. But this gentleman decided to go work with somebody else because his response back to the email is, I thought you were so busy that you don't have the time for us. Look, that is a good thing because when we are busy, that means we are a practitioner of our craft. Oh, excuse me, I burped. We are a practitioner of our craft. That is a good thing where I am working full time. Yes, am I busy? Very busy. However, we have systems and processes in place to get things done and to help accommodate you. That's right, so we're never too busy for you. We have a full staff in place, guys. At the end of the day, I wish you guys, again, nothing but the best hard work does pay off. If you guys wanna check out all our video home tours, we have over 1,800 video home tours. Just go ahead and click on this video right here. If you guys are in the market and you wanna purchase a home and wanna get started, visit lvhomeexperts.com. Scan this QR code right now. Also, if you guys just love real estate and wanna get into real estate, go ahead and subscribe to our second channel. Until next time, peace.